and I joined the YMCA in 1928, and uh, I've been part of it ever since. I take a, a streetcar down. Oh, the streetcar. Yeah. YMCA used to be boys club, and then, then they changed, <laughs> and then, then they took on the girls. <laughs> <laughs> good thing. It's a good thing. <laughs> You'd get to know all those fellas pretty good down at the locker room. Down in the locker room. I used to go down there for a swim and... and Meet the fellows down there and talk to them. Talk to them. Uh -huh. You know, always enjoyable to talk to. Uh -huh. You swam for many, many years. For many, many years, yes. It was the only thing in town to, to be a part of. It was the YMCA. And I, I used to enjoy going to Camp Onaway, which was... Well, the high wire program was an important part of my YMCA life. What did you do when you went to high wire? That's when we had Christmas tree sale. And you did that so many Christmases, and then you'd take us over there, and that's when it was on Wisconsin uh, Avenue across from Appleton Papers, just a little bit east of Appleton Papers. Mom was taking us down there for swimming lessons. Um, th that's how I remember starting out. And then we all went to Camp Nanabosho and we spent many weeks at Nanabosho. In fact, I was the one, <laughs> Mom can attest to this, that I would be up at Camp Nanabosho and then I would call her on Friday and say, Mom, I wanna stay another week. And she would send a box of clean clothes up on the next bus and I'd get to stay another week. <laughs> Well, I think it was the same thing as you were involved. It was a good, wholesome Christian organization. We knew that when they, not only swimming lessons, but they played tag football, they played other sports. I remember our little guy was bowling little pins down at Schrader Aquatic, and everybody played. There was no sitting. Everyone got a chance to play. Everyone got taught the basics of whatever they were doing. They also got taught respect, responsibility, sharing all those good values in life that we grew up being taught. I guess it was just in your blood that you, you grew up with the Y, you raised your kids in the Y, and then you gave, and then as an adult, I realized the importance to community as a nonprofit, so I was happy to be involved and get involved on the board. What kind of an impact do you think the Y has on well, the community? I think that it has a great impact on the community, and that's why we, we supported, supported a lot. Of... I'm just glad to be part of an organization that brings so many people together from so many walks of life that is a building that finds out what's needed and then wants to meet that need. And uh, they cater to all kinds of people, all ages. No one's ever turned away from the why. It's open for everybody. Open for everybody. They change as our diversity changes mm -hmm. in the community. Mm -hmm. You meet friends and make friends down there. That's right. Yeah.